Gary Hackler here with Gary Duff. It's the Gary and Gary Show on WITYradio.com. And, Gary, um, explain to us uh, your association and, and what you guys do and, and what is going on here for you here at the uh, I and I Historic Farm Days. Yes, we're, uh, uh, we're a national club. Uh, we got members all over the U.S. and Canada. Uh, BF Avery Corporation started in about 150 years ago. Uh, they got into the tractor line in the early 40s. Uh, they sold the whole company in 1951 to Minneapolis Moline. Uh, uh, the, tractor, the tractor line started with Cleetrack. Cleetrack made the General, which is the yellow tractors out here. Uh, they build them for a couple of years, and at the same time, they also build them for, for BF Avery, uh, Ward's Twin Row, and Cleetrack said they weren't making any money, but BF Avery had went ahead and built implements to fit all the tractors, so they bought the tractor line, and they continued the tractor line, and when it, in the 50s, there was a lot of consolidation with a lot of companies, and BF Avery was one of them that went down with the rest of them. Sure. So. Talk a little bit about the importance of this event and how it connects uh, the history of ag and agriculture and, and farming and, and the equipment to uh, today's um, modern technology. Okay. Well, this, this, is, this is technically not our summer show. We usually have one summer show every year, but as last year you know everything was canceled we were supposed to be here last year so they invited us back for the, for the show this year so this is not a regular summer show but we're we're using it as a summer show and the tractor line uh, it was very well known especially before they got into tractors the company built all of a great number of horse-drawn uh, equipment. They competed, they were probably bigger than John Deere until John Deere really got into tractors. That's what made John Deere expand. And uh, we went down a little bit, but they still built many implements. And when they bought the tractor line, they went hog wild building implements uh, they had everything everything and anything you can think of they build it and uh, they and of course Minneapolis Moling bought, bought them out in 1951 uh, because they wanted a small tractor line that they didn't have to design and uh, they they did continue the tractors for three years till 1953 uh, uh, I, I think that like all tractors, uh, BF Avery, all, all the oddballs that are have come and gone, they're all very important to agriculture because without them, uh, we wouldn't be where we're at. So. Talk about the, uh, uh, the, the history of the family farm and the equipment that is here on display, the stories that some of those tractors and combines and uh, pickers and all of that could tell yes uh, as since since BF Avery got into the track tractor business during the war they could not build tractors they bought out Cleetrack and Cleetrack had enough parts and stuff that BF Avery could continue building tractors until 1946 and they re redesigned and they added another tractor to the line and everything and uh, uh, you could only in the north you could only buy these tractors at Montgomery Wards you uh -huh. could, they, they didn't they didn't have dealers in the north they had dealers in the south uh, That's in the, interesting. the south uh, they, they were bigger in the south because they had dealers. Uh, parts were more available and everything. But uh, as far as a club, the biggest share of our members are 
in the north. I, I don't know why, but you know, in the north. Uh, they, uh, I don't know, I, I think they're probably just as important as John Deere as far as as starting agriculture, getting it where it's going, you know, uh, mechanizing it. Uh, it's just that John Deere had more money. <laughs> <laughs> that rule sometimes, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, hey, Gary, we appreciate your time yeah. here today. Um, any parting words that you would like to share uh, with our uh, online listeners and viewers and uh, anything yeah. that uh, you would encourage them to come out here and yeah. see today? Yes. Uh, well, this is a this is a huge show. Penfield, we've been here. This will be our third time in 25 years. Uh, they have a very big variety of all tractors. Uh, you will see things that you won't see anyplace else. And uh, as far as our club, we want to thank Penfield for having us. And uh, just everybody come out and have a good time. Well, we would invite our, our viewers and our listeners yep. to come out here and uh, yep. uh, join your club, right? Yes. That's possible. Yes, we like that too. Yep. All right. Yep. Gary, I appreciate your time here today, and yep. it's the Gary and Gary Show here at the uh, <laughs> INI Historic Farm Days. Appreciate you, and uh, we'll talk soon. Yep. Thank you.